medieval Athens. The transformation of the city under Byzantine rule and the construction of several important churches and monasteries. Under Byzantine rule, Athens underwent a significant transformation and became an important center of Christianity. During this time, several important churches and monasteries were built in the city, many of which still stand today. The most notable of these include the Parthenon, which was converted into a church dedicated to the Virgin Mary, and the Temple of Olympian Zeus, which was transformed into the Church of St. George. The city also became a center of religious learning and was home to several monasteries and monastic schools. These institutions played an important role in preserving classical knowledge and the transmission of the Christian faith, and they helped to keep alive the cultural heritage of ancient Athens. Despite political and economic struggles, the city remained an important center of Byzantine culture and religion for several centuries, and its rich history and cultural heritage continue to influence the city today. The city's role as a cultural and intellectual center during the period of Frankish rule. During the period of Frankish rule in Athens, which lasted from the 13th to the 15th centuries, the city continued to be a center of culture and intellectual life. Despite political and economic instability, the city was home to a thriving community of scholars, artists, and intellectuals who were influenced by both Byzantine and Western cultural traditions. Many of the city's churches and monasteries were also important centers of learning and scholarship, and they served as repositories of knowledge and cultural heritage. During this time, the city was also a center of the arts, with a vibrant tradition of painting, sculpture, and manuscript production. Despite the challenges posed by the political and economic instability of the period, Athens remained an important center of culture and intellectual life, and its legacy continues to influence the city and the wider world today. The Ottoman conquest of Athens in the 15th century and the city's decline into a small, impoverished town. The Ottoman conquest of Athens in the 15th century marked a turning point in the city's history, leading to a period of decline and impoverishment. Under the Ottoman rule, Athens became a small and relatively insignificant town, with a population that was much smaller than in its heyday. The city's economy was based primarily on agriculture and trade, and it was largely cut off from the wider Mediterranean world. During this time, many of the city's historic buildings and monuments were neglected and fell into disrepair, and the city lost much of its former cultural and intellectual vibrancy. Despite these challenges, Athens remained a center of local life and culture, and the city's rich history and cultural heritage were passed down from generation to generation. In the 19th century, Athens became the capital of the newly independent Greece and underwent a period of modernization and growth, paving the way for its revival as a thriving modern city. Modern Athens The city's revival and growth during the 19th century, driven by the Greek War of Independence and the establishment of a new kingdom, the 19th century was a time of revival and growth for Athens, driven by the Greek War of Independence and the establishment of a new kingdom. The Greek War of Independence, which lasted from 1821 to 1832, was a successful uprising against Ottoman rule that resulted in the creation of an independent Greek state. Following independence, Athens was selected as the capital of the new kingdom, and the city underwent a period of modernization and growth. New buildings and infrastructure were constructed, including public institutions, residential areas, and commercial areas. The city's population grew rapidly, and the city became an important center of culture, politics, and economic life in Greece. The New Kingdom also attracted scholars and artists from around the world, and the city became a center of intellectual and cultural activity. The revival of Athens during the 19th century set the stage for the city's continued growth and development as a thriving modern metropolis, and its rich cultural heritage continues to influence the city and the wider world today. The city's development as the capital of modern Greece and its role as a center of political and cultural life. Since the establishment of modern Greece in the 19th century, Athens has developed into the capital of the country and a major center of political and cultural life. During the 20th century, the city underwent a period of rapid growth and modernization, 
becoming a modern metropolis with a thriving economy, a rich cultural life, and a vibrant political scene. Today, Athens is home to a population of over 3 million people and is the largest city in Greece.